You are beautiful. Unless you're one of these ugly animals. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You know, in this world, it can be tough to get people to agree on anything. Yeah. But today, we are hoping against hope that we are going to be able to agree on what is the ugliest animal in the world. Because that matters. It matters so much that we're gonna do something a little bit different today. It's time to get ranked. As you can see, we have a board here behind us with five slots, wherein we are going to rank officially and forever the ugliest animals on Earth. And each mythical crew member will be presenting their animal, and as they do that, uh, we will put their animal in the spot of consideration, starting with Stevie. Oh, that's an ugly thing. That is the star-nosed mole. I've heard here's, of this. Here's the kicker. That is the front end. Oh, like, thanks for clarifying. That's what we're looking at right now. Okay, um, that is a face. It looks to me like... Because it, it does look like the exit. Yeah. It looks like something is blown through the exit, Ooh, like oh. on a quick, you know, quick way out. Been there. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh. Yeah, like lack of fiber. <laughs> yeah. That's actually what star nose means. <laughs> okay. Um, I got star nose yeah. last night. But it kind of looks like one of those B uh, movie, horror movie... Uh, like scary characters, or yep. if um, a rat like really liked to consume children, but the children were like, no, and then they just like stuck their hands oh, out. Baby fingers. Yeah, baby fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could definitely be like the, the, the mascot for the fiber industry. It's like, <laughs> don't let this happen to you. It's like on cereal boxes. Um, Does he even have eyes? It's blind, like those little fingers. How do you know it's a he? Make it feel, a woman. feel around. <laughs> Um, but I, I think it has eyes that don't work, but you can't really see mm. them. That is nasty. I wouldn't want that for a face. That's definitely ugly. I think it's ugly. At least the hands are pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one at spot three, just because I don't know what else is coming. You know, this is about as ugly as of a thing as I can think of right now, but it's the only it one. It can move either way. We remain in our unbiased positions as we field uh, the next presenter, who is... Chase. Yeah, that's me. Okay, Chase. Me. Hey, Chase. Uh, this hey. isn't you. <laughs> no, that's the <laughs> proboscis monkey. Oh. Proboscis means like big nose. Uh, I which see you he can, has a big nose. Yeah, you can see he's got a real big nose right and here. a red face too. Kind of looks like I don't know. Gerard Depardieu had like a shellfish reaction or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Poor so guy. the males have like those huge noses, which you they use. Only the, what's it for? Only, only the, the males, males have them. Mm -hmm. It's two. It's used for two things. One, Hold on, it attracts be appropriate. the ladies. Can you tell me what they use it for. <laughs> Smelling. So, uh, sure, that's the third. Oh. And then also, <laughs> when they get threatened, it gets even bigger. It, Swells with blood and gets really engorged. Okay. And then it amplifies <laughs> that honk. This is unenlarged right now? Yeah, that's like regular. Is the honk also ugly? Like, I mean, can you give me a sample? I mean, I don't think it's visually ugly. What's it sound it, like? <laughs> I'm gonna think it goes like. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I'm gonna think that it. That's not how life works, Chase. <laughs> you can't just make reality by thinking. But it is, I mean, look, the look on his face, he knows that he's ugly. But, Which is just sad. Uh, you guys are saying he's ugly. I do think that there's parts of him that are ugly, but look at those eyes. He's got a nice set of eyes, almond eyes. And he's got a part right down the center of and his head. And a really tight beard. Looks like he goes to a barber who cuts beards. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the you facial say part, hair is amazing. I say balding. It looks like he's balding to me. Yeah, but nothing wrong with What's that. His hair. That's... There's no way that he is uglier than that thing. I mean, I'd be if that, he would be my friend. Yeah. This if, thing, I'm running away. I mean, I, I do have to point out. That's his nose, but that's his nose. Exactly. So, so uh, I think it's, I think it's a safe assumption to say we should at least put him at the four spot. Yeah, right. He that's, could be a friend. Less ugly. Less ugly. Yeah. The lower the number, the uglier. This is the ugliest animal, right? Yeah. Number one. <laughs> okay, moving along. He could along. be a French actor. Uh, Alex. Whoa, Alex. Good gracious. I know. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, this is our friend, the blobfish. I honestly feel like he kind of speaks for himself. He speaks. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm <laughs> that thing can talk. It looks like a guy who's just very sad and then started to melt. I feel like so. <laughs> when you get so sad, you start to melt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Things get ugly. It does look like a human. Exactly. Which makes it extra. You ugly. know what? Not not a lot is known about the blobfish because it's in the deep sea. You know, and people think it's just because well, the other. It. I know it now. Yeah, the other animals got together and were like, "It is ugly." Nah, you should stay down here. I mean, if if I had trust issues with you, I would think that you printed this off and then sharpied on. On eyes. That's that the I real wouldn't deal. even think. I thought. I would think this would be like waste from another animal, like slime waste that you put eyeballs on. Can exactly. you prove that it's not just a sad man? Because <laughs> scientifically, no. Sad man's drooling too. I mean, he has no muscles, and I. It could just be a really sad, out of shape man. It, I it's guess. like an open casket of a, of a person who died of sadness. I mean, that's. I'm just sorry. That's. <laughs> it's that's I, uh, that's ugly. That's that, really ugly. Mm, I've heard of this thing. And uh, I, the only context I've heard of it in is the context of ugly. So I think we're, I think we're going to number I'm one with it, this baby. Yeah, I'm put, or you don't, do you want to hold out hope? You want to hold okay, out hope? Yeah, put it at two. Let's hold out hope. Let's hope there's something. I hope there's nothing <laughs> uglier than that. All right, uh, moving along. Lizzie. And interestingly, it does have a big nose. What in the world, Lizzie? Koala bear? Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Allow me to explain. Please, um. please do. <laughs> Unconventional choice, but I think you will. I will be able to sway you to my uh, my side here. They have beady red eyes. Number one, they have gummy fur. Um, they have a terrible face to forehead to eyeball ratio. It's not good. It's like a child on LSD went to a build a bear and then just <laughs> messed up hard. Um, there could child be. On LSD I, went you to know, build-a-bear. I've never thought of this before, but there could be a whole other face on top of the face. Yes, who made it like that? That it was makes a your forehead look hey, yeah, yeah. Look I'm, small, I'm starting to be a little offended <laughs> here. Well, this is hitting a little close, too close to home. I, for the real kicker, though, uh, they just they give you chlamydia. Like, what is uglier than an STD? They gave you chlamydia. <laughs> well, <laughs> what I were t- you doing with uh, the call? After, hour, <laughs> after hours at the zoo. <laughs> Like, no, it, 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 it's a, this is a thing, if, if, if it pees on you, you have to get treated for chlamydia without ever having done anything fun to get the chlamydia other than hold a koala, which is not fun because they're gross. And then <laughs> you have to get you have to get shots. The One Direction kids got peed on by a koala, chlamydia. All of them? Well, two of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, you, you have some compelling arguments, but the pee thing is not something I would know unless I got peed on. Well, ugly on the inside and the outside, I would oh, say. Oh, double ugly. Yeah. Come on, Lizzie. Also, they eat their mother's poop. Didn't know that, did you? But listen, <laughs> but by this argument, like, listen, you could swipe, is it, what do you swipe left or right if you like somebody on Tinder? R- right, is it right? You Why are you right? I'm not an expert. <laughs> the way but that right. you, yes. right. <laughs> okay. You, I think this is what, whether or not you would swipe right or left on this. Oh, because right. I don't know that this quality would pee on me or eat poop. It looks you like look You don't know that until the first date. So it's I feel like you gotta go face. just on the swipe factor on this one. And it's still a little bear. It is mm. a bear. It's actual, like Latin name means ash gray pocket bear. That is not attractive. Here's what I'll say. Ash. I think the monkey's handsome, so I'm gonna move him to five, unless you got any objections, Link. I have objections. What? <laughs> Chase? What? That thing is way uglier than the a koala. A koala. No. Yeah, a koala is like universally known as cute to everyone but Lizzie. <laughs> that thing has a nose that is Link, huge. Link, I defer to you, man. Ugly. I'm willing to put the monkey in at five. Look at its eyes. But Lizzie scared me a little bit. <laughs> I feel like we should give her something. The eyes are, the eyes are red. That's creepy. Yeah. But not ugly. It. Sorry, Lizzie. There's fur <gasps> everywhere. No! If there was some skin. It's like, still a bear. Like, if there was, like, skin exposed <laughs> on this thing somewhere, I'd be like, eh, that's ugly. Have you seen a wet one? Wet koalas okay, are the me, ugliest things ever. Like, well, you didn't po- that's not a. That's not a wet koala. That's a dry one. They're still bad. What happens when they get wet? They look like it's actual like monsters. All right. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Mr. Kevin can usurp. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, Whoa. I definitely can. Oh. What you're looking at right there is the eye eye. The only creature, animal, ever named because locals would shriek when they would look at it. Eye eye! <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> uh, to me, it kind of looks like a cracked out rat bat mixture. Cracked out rat bat. <laughs> look at it. With old man hair, like that wispy, you know how old men sort of, you can see the baldness <laughs> yeah. underneath and you they still are hanging on to those few hairs. Yep. That's what he's got. And look, it's got a human hand. Oh, well, actually, no, hand. look at the hand. The middle finger, that's three times bigger than all the other fingers. Well, that could be you coming handy. It can, because he reaches into trees and pierces bugs and then stabs them out and then eats them. That's how that thing eats dinner. So the last thing is, this guy, when he gets out of his nest, 
he grooms himself for 30 minutes and he still looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you said Poor the locals, what, where, he's local to where? Madagascar. Oh. I think He's probably that, in that movie. I think that when Lizzie looks at a koala, this is what she sees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I think, I mean, uh-huh. Lizzie, can, is there any discernible difference yeah. in your mind when you look at these two photos or are you like, Ugly blind. Koala blind? I, that one's kind of cute to me. Oh, that gosh, one, first really. of all, it's it's tried. It spent 30 minutes grooming itself, <laughs> so I respect that. I mean, <laughs> if I spend 30 minutes trying to put on my makeup and I look bad, it's not my fault. Like, it's trying. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna point out you guys only have one slot left, and I think you've done <laughs> <That's not laughs> <how it works. laughs> a pretty good job of organizing these already. <laughs> I think you should do like a meet in the forest test. Like if you were a cartoon and those were cartoons, and you were going through the forest and you're singing and you saw them, mm-hmm. what would your reaction be? I, my argument is just like if you saw that mole, you wouldn't be like, oh hello, fella. <laughs> right, right. I, I'm t- in complete agreement. I think another thing you have to do is you have to equal the size. What if they were all the size of a building? You know what I mean? A giant oh, lot that's of fish. That's 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 yeah. So that you, to take the cute factor out, they're all the size of a building. And that honk gets so much louder. <laughs> <laughs> to, to me, if they're all the size of a building, this you got King Kong, you got a big bear, everybody likes a big bear. You got cracked out Batman. But it really, for me, comes down to these two. No, 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 this thing is so ugly to me. Really? <laughs> to me, I'm I'm comfortable right now putting it in number one, yeah. except for this. Uh, no thing. way. I'm pretty that, comfortable with that too. He ha- he's he's humanoid. He's got features that well, this one, but th- this one looks like a dead person. <laughs> this one looks like a, just a person down on their luck. If 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 I was singing in the forest, I do like the test. Uh, I apply that test to many things in life, um, and I come upon this. I just. I gingerly walk over it. But if I come upon this, I say, aye, aye, and then I, I shriek and I run. I, I think this is gonna attack me. It's not a fear test, it's an ugly test. Well, that's true. Except the only one that if you actually came across in a forest you have to go to the doctor for is the koala. That's the only one you can't touch. True. Okay, this is a great though. test because you know what locals do when they actually see these things? They consider them an omen of evil and they kill them on sight. Oh, oh. gosh. So. Really, do they eat them? That is so they sad don't that he's now cute in my eyes yeah. and deserves to be number five. The blobfish yeah. There is a sadness. I mean, rodents are <laughs> rodents. I think he had. Oh, I, gosh. There is a I cute, know I'm ugly. Hey, there is a oh. cute factor to this. Yeah. You can, so no, ugly. You can't, so it's ugly it's cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's. That still says number one to me. No. If it gets cute because it's so ugly. No, 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 no. There's a cute factor. There's no way this is number one. There's no universe in which that is number one. Go it's on, gotta Rhett. be these two. <laughs> it's gotta come down. Look at that. This has fingers. And like a blown out butthole for a face, <laughs> and this is a dead person that died of sadness. Which which one's the ugliest? I, I, I rest I, my case I, about two and say, three, and you just made the decision about the I, ugliest one. I believe that this is this is so ugly to me. This one at least everywhere else is not ugly. Well, if you look, at, <laughs> I yes. mean that part is not got ugly. Some fur. Okay. So let's move the blobfish to number one and let's put the II at number two is what I'm suggesting. Okay, that's a compromise. Let's do that. This is a democracy. <laughs> and uh, we'll what move, we have determined. We'll move him right up there. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The ugliest animals in the world, including the ugliest animal in the world, the, the blobfish. blobfish. Congratulations, I'm, Alex. Thanks, guys. Hi. I, I was I had a feeling blobfish would come through for me on this one. So. How do you feel about this? Uh, uh, do you agree with our consensus? I'm sure you will let us know in the comments. So thank you for leaving those, for liking and subscribing and sharing this video. You know what time it is. My name is Marybeth and I just went to Graceland. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You don't have to be a member of the Mythical Crew to be on the show. You can be on the show by submitting a Wheel of Mythicality video. And that's a little bit different this season. Follow the link in the description or go to redlink.com slash contact. We fill out that form and submit your video. Click through to Good Mythical More. We're going to get some animal encounter stories from the crew. Beatboxing donkeys. Hee haw, 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 hee haw. Now, it kind of might all make sense that maybe you guys shouldn't have put me in charge of that fire episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be on your resume. I wish you had told that story before.